what's going on y'all it's your girl ebony and i'm back with another video another message another level of understanding another word from the most high god and so we're just gonna talk a little bit right i just want to talk and see what have you what have you guys been feeling like what have you been feeling because what i'm picking up on is a lot of transitioning is a shift of energy change is a shift of acceptance and it's i'm not gonna say it's been a hard shift but i'm gonna say it's been a um a pull it's been a pull not really a drag but a pull right and this pull is positioning you into a point of your life of trusting god above every situation physical outcome issue or non-issue in your life above everybody above um your old ways to life or living above the way that you were used to doing certain things and used to following certain ways that you created for yourself god is shifting you into a mindset to understand his will for your life instead of your own ways of your life of living he's taking you outside of the box so when i say a pool you're being exalted with god as you place god on high as you exalt god above everything that you're comfortable with he's pulling you into a position to trust him um, outside of your knowing, outside of your comfort zone, outside outside of the things that you set for yourself, okay? And so, it that's a stretching. It's a stretching, why? Because it's not always comfortable to change your lifestyle outside of what society is doing and to choose more for yourself even when you've been used to setting the bar for yourself low. God is raising your expectations of him in this season. God is raising your expectation, expectations of yourself. He's wanting you to match that full identity and purpose that he created for you. With no doubt and no worry. He's wanting you to pray more than you worry. He's wanting you to understand that you are that special one in your life. That God created for a day and a time like this, right? And so you've been coming out of your shell. You've been trying more ways to make you healthy. You've been involving yourself in activities. Rather, it is um, things to push knowledge into your mind. Rather, it's things to strengthen your peace. Rather, it's things that you cut off. You know what I'm saying? That was no longer serving you. And you put in goals into your life where you want to see yourself fulfill certain things. So you've positioned yourself into a place where you believe that you can get such a thing done. The only issue is when you go into that moment of separation and telling yourself you can have such an order of things is the enemy tries to find a way to creep up through your old lifestyle, through your old way of living, through your old habits of doing to make you result or rely back on such a thing when you don't see yourself actually there yet, right? Because the physical world is still um, amongst us. So God wants you to put your trust in him during the process, okay? It's a process that takes you to get you to that point. But he wants you to see yourself already completing a thing. He wants you to move by faith and not by sight. He wants you to understand the power of grace. Because of the power of grace, that is where your faith come in. That is where you lean not only on your flesh, yourself, your only ways of doing, but you put your faith in God and understand by God's grace is, is it all be, um, being done for you, right? Because he loves his child so much. You are his child. He coming in to rescue for you. He wants you to know all the things that you think you got to worry about, they are beneath you. He's taking care of it. He's taking care of all the things that you normally would depend on another person for, if that makes sense to somebody. He's he's taking away your um codependency and relationship um 
um, values, the core values of how you would want someone else to do such a thing, and he's doing it. He wants you to know that you doesn't need nobody really in this lifetime but him. He wants you to you know, know that, that you are the above all, and the fact that you chose him, he is powerful. He can do all things that no man can do. When I say man, you guys, I'm talking about mankind. And so... God is so big. He's so big. He's so gracious. He's so marvelous and matchless. Like he could do all above things. And the moment you realize who you chose, the moment you realize you accepted your gift, you accepted who, who you are in God, you accepted your place, your righteousness. The moment you did that, you signed the de you signed a deal, a contract with the most high God, with the creator above all worry, stress, anxiety. You signed over your life to a love life, right? I remember back when I was younger and I always felt the need to tell everybody about themselves and this, that, and the third because this pull that I had with God, right? But I was delivering a certain thing in a way that it was kind of, um, it was truthful, but it was harsh. <laughs> And so God has positioned me to a point where, yeah, I want to show you greater seed that is within you. I want to show you that there is something there in you that is connected to me, but I want to make it better. I want to create it into a, a, a Christ-like identity. So it's speaking through love and not through your fleshly way. Some of us use our gifts and, and when we aren't conditioned all the way where God needs us to be, it come out in a place where it's harmful to others. Okay, God's, God literally wants to pull you out of the harmful ways and the defective ways so that you can be made authentic and created for the, the um, righteous way of his order, right? And so because you've done that, because you chose him, because you're moving in alignment in such a time as he chose you to, because you broke all the generational curses off, off of your life, now there is going to be rewards. It's a reward for you and sometimes it's uncomfortable, but stretch and trust God. Get this process. Get to your process. Don't give all short. Don't take the little voice that you hear that's doubting you. Don't even move or run away from what God is giving you. Accept everything that God says is yours. And that's all you have to do. And I'm going to give you some confirmation because God is on your side, period.